Welcome, dear students, to week one in biology. We will start with chapter one, what is science? The study of uh, any living microorganisms and non-living organisms that are living together in one place. We'll start with the learning objective. We will start by describing the goal of science, explain the procedure that are the core of the scientific methodology. Methodology means the methods of doing any, any uh, process you will go. If you wanna make a cake, if you wanna go for a drive, if you wanna buy something, you will go through a process. This process needs a method to do that. These methods, we will start to, doing, to talk about them in a scientific way. Then we will define the scientific theory. What is the scientific theory? What's the difference between theory, states, or facts? What does it mean? Is it approved or not approved? Do we have to go through an experiment to, to uh, approve that this theory is correct or not? Then we will start, first of all, by uh, the nature of science. When we are talking about science, what does it mean? What, what is it? The science usually we use that to, uh, as we use as evidences to construct testable explanation and prediction of nature phenomena. Meaning if we want to say it like, um, if green leaves are the sources of photosynthesis, what did you? What, what is your solid evidence that the leaves is the is the source or where the photosynthesis occur? If I uh, if I remove this uh, leaves, will the the source of energy gone? Is the plants will be able to uh, produ uh, to keep in their life without the presence of leaves. This this is an a testable experiment to make sure that leaves are the source of energy in uh, in, uh, in in the plant. Okay. Uh, generate knowledge. This one will give you with time. You will be sure that yes. This is the, the source of uh, this is the source of information that we can need. You have to to have the knowledge to make sure that you tested your um, uh, phenomena, tested your uh, theory to make sure if it's correct or not. When we talk about scientific methodology, scientific methodology we need to observe and then to ask a question. Now we are going through the steps of methodology. The, uh, what is that? Mean we need to say like location A is better than location B. How did you say that? Why you think that location A is better than location B? In scientific methodology is to generate a style of investigation, not rigid step by step process. You need to investigate. When you said that A is better than B, what did you? What is your solid uh, evidence that A is better than B? Did you see the look? Did you? conduct an experiment or did you conduct an investigation where the crops in B is better than A or A better than B, you will start asking a question. These are question, then they will, you will start investigation about the, investigate the information to make sure that your claim is right or wrong. In any experiment, whenever you are doing something, there is a trial and error ex expectation, meaning that you need to understand that your experiment may fail or, or your experiment, you will, gain, you will get to the questions where your uh, theory is right or your expectation is not um, it's the same as your experiment, as your answers. That's, and then you will, you will know that uh, your experiment is not right. Scientific methodology in uh, inferring and hypothesis. Now, as, it, as I said, you need to make a hypothesis. What does it mean, hypothesis? Why do marshy grass grow to different height in different places? When you go back to the picture, you will you will understand that the, in crop A the uh, the height of the uh, the height of the grass was way less than in in. Uh, in B. Okay, so the grass growth is different in height between different places. This will let you go to the to ask the question where why the grass in, in A is less than in B. So you will start to make hypotheses, mean to question why this is happening, why it's not there. If you take a look, like why do marshy grass grow to different height in different places? Take a look in here, maybe in, in um, in picture A, the soil is not rich enough for the nutrients. Maybe there's not enough sunlight. Maybe the water supply is less. This in compare, in compare with what with uh, B, which is could be have more nutrient like nitrogen in the soil, which will make it better place to get a uh, nutrient more than in uh, in picture A. After that, you will start to make a logical interpretation based on what you see and based of on your hypothesis, whether your uh, experiment go with your hypothesis or go against your hypothesis. 
So what's, you need to talk about what scientists already know and what you will test further to make sure that it's right or wrong. After that scientific methodology, we, uh, we need to go and design a control experiment. You need to test the hypothesis that you are talking about, then measure the factors that change uh, that change your real bond and the, or the variable one and the one that keep constant in each uh, in each experiment. So you have to have a control group, control group meaning the, the fixed one, and then you will start adding things to make the experimental to make a comparison between the two of them. So as I said, you will see the control, which is the basic, and then with adding a nutrient, what will happen? So quantitative and qualitative make a good difference. Then you will, in here, they analyze the conclusion, meaning they will check what would happen to the height of the grass by adding or not adding a nutrient, which was here, the nitrogen. In science, the word theory applies to a test highly reliable scientific explanation of events in the nature world that unified many uh, repeated observation and incorruption, uh, incorporating the double uh, doubts. Well-supported hypothesis that enable scientists to make accurate prediction. You need to make sure that your prediction is 